Well, well, well. Looky what we have here. This is the underside of the carriage for a Hermes 2000. Uh, there's the body for it. Um, this is a recent Goodwill find. And man, this thing was having just all kinds of a bad day. Uh, probably a whole bunch of bad days. Ha! Um, a lot of nasty noises coming from inside the escapement on this thing. And uh, I just figured I'd yank the carriage on it and find out what was going on. Um, had a couple of things going on. Actually, the, uh, the backspace pole, this guy right here, was dragging down on the star wheel. It wasn't quite getting retracted far enough up to where it could sit on top of the, the little housing there. It's got a little guard that it's supposed to sit back on that'll get it out of the way of the the teeth of the, the star wheel there. And uh, the reason I'm making the video is just because I'm incredibly impressed by the, the engineering. I mean, the, uh, the Hermes is just such a beautiful machine. I've, I've had a whole bunch of Hermes 3000s. But this is the first 2000 I've ever had. And, uh, you know, as the numbers might indicate, this is the, the forerunner to the 3000. Um, and, you know, this is a carriage shifted machine instead of a basket shift or segment shift. Um, so it's a whole different critter, but, you know, the, the, it's the same design team that coughed it up. Um, and those guys were genius. They really were. Now, the cool part about this, you know, and, and one of the things that's been giving me trouble, uh, or th that I've had a, a rough time wrapping my brain around tonight, is, uh, you know, how, how loose does that star wheel need to be? Because there's two little screws with, uh, they have little points on them um, that seat that star wheel, and it, it provides a little bit of play, a little bit of slack in there. So this thing, you know, when, when it's just... Uh, going through its normal motions it doesn't appear to be moving that much right you know because it's just catching on the dogs and doing its thing but when you go to return the carriage you know because this one does, I don't think this one has a silent return on it um, you know the 3000 has a little throw out on the the dogs that gives it a, a silent return but you know, this one doesn't appear to have that, but, you know, like I say, since this is my first 2000, I don't really know. I don't have a another machine to compare it by. I don't have a looker machine, right? So, I've got a loose star wheel in there. And at first I thought that was a problem, but now I'm thinking that's by design. I don't know if you can tell in this video here, but... As I start to move the carriage back, that star wheel takes advantage of the play and it rotates this way just a little bit. It slides in between those two little screws there and removes some of the friction on that standing dog. Um, you know, because the standing dog will. I don't know, really, I don't even know if that's considered the standing dog or the running dog, because, I mean, well, one of them, you know, it's the one that's always engaged, so I'm, I'm calling that the standing dog. It's It's been a long time since I, I talked with Mr. Bailey about that. But uh, <laughs> as, as these teeth push that standing dog out of the way, you know, the, because the teeth are flat on one side and angled on the other, and so as you're retracting the carriage, that angled side is pushing that standing dog out of the way. And that's what that tiny little bit of play is accomplishing, I think. You know, it allows it to do that with much less friction involved. And that's pretty darn cool. Um, those guys did a, a phenomenal job with these machines. When I first started on this thing tonight, you wouldn't believe the noise that was coming out of that escapement. But, you know, now it's, uh, now it's doing what it oughta. Anyway, there you go.
Um, Hermes 2000 Escapement. Because <laughs> why not? 